blogging while Brown 2016, we took over Washington, D.C. Don't believe anything you see or read anywhere else. This video will give you the story of the weekend. Before most of us even checked in, there was a field trip at the Smithsonian National Museum for African American History and Culture. The place isn't even opened yet, but we got a sneak peek. They told us to put our hard hats on, watch where we step, admire what's on display, and marvel at this huge elevator. So later that night we had our opening party, our opening reception, where we got to meet and greet, get a little munchy, get to know each other. Let's just check out some of the smiling faces. And then came Saturday morning, the start of the conference. This is what we came for. We felt welcomed right away, getting our badges and our program book, loaded up on a small, medium, or large coffee, only to be presented with this. It's 9.07, we're seven minutes late. That's okay, we have time. Well, gee, I hope we have time. We're going to be here all weekend. One of the first presenters were sponsors who gave me one of the most comfortable pair of men's socks I've ever had in my life. Thank you, ladies. When you come to this event, you come to expect the provocative. Black lives matter. You know what? Black bloggers matter. That was what I was there for. My only regret with this conference is that I can't go to every seminar. I mean, they're in the big room. They're in breakout rooms. They're in the lunch room. There might even have been one in the bathroom. Who knows? There were panel discussions with smart people, and then more smart people came to give you more panel discussion. If you are a coffee drinker, it's great to be wired in order to be plugged in to the powerful sessions all weekend. I, I don't know, it just seems like this is a woman's conference that they just happen to let guys come to. I mean, this is what happens. You get presenters who, this guy from Google, look how serious he appears. But then when he's around a woman, hey, look at that smile. Here's a guy from Lipson, serious as a heart attack in his presentation. He gets around a couple women. Hey, there's that smile again. Everywhere you saw a guy this weekend, you saw a smile. Let me show you a few. I mean, even the cool daddy wallflowers. Once he gets around women, you get a smile. Here was the designated seating for the men. It was a little tight, but we made do. I don't know why I took this picture of a hippo on the George Washington University campus, but I had to put it somewhere. There were celebrity sightings all weekend. There's Nene and Kanye. They showed up at our conference. Kerry Washington was there. Diana Ross stopped through. Tracy McGrady from his rookie year in the NBA. Kenny Lattimore sang a solo. I don't know how we got Idris Elba to show. Yeah, that's Kanye West. You didn't know? You know, thank God there were a few guys there because the women seem to get, get together and have these little meetups and, and little chats. We don't know what you guys are talking about, but it, but it must be important because you keep bringing your friends to this conference and it's because of you that this conference is so great. We're just happy to be a part of it. Let me tell you something. We're not scared because fear is stupid. But what's not stupid is that you women brought the hair to the event. This was mentioned out on the, on the floor, and I couldn't help but to notice, is that, notice it as well. Listen to me, I, I can't even talk. I was so impressed with the look. So let's just look at some of the hair that showed up at the conference. It showed up with the presenters, with the panelists, with the participants, probably some of the staff. They had the curly look going on. They had the teased look going on. 
I'm not a beauty blogger. I don't know the name of these styles. All I know is they're kind of twisty and, and, and they're kind of dready and, and cornrow. They need their own soundtrack. Sort of natural. Then it comes in a little straight. Some of the ladies just kept it simple and just pulled it back. Others brought you the color. And the shortcut, it showed up too. What a look you ladies brought to the conference. And our youngest conference attendee was not going to be outdone. We had another field trip, a tour of Washington, D.C. at night on an open air bus. It rained, so we had to delay the trip because we couldn't risk messing up that hair. Okay? But the sights and the sounds it, and the weather, it was really hot during the day. The rain cooled things off. It was a magnificent three-hour tour around Washington, D.C. Those of you on the bus will remember, get down, get down, get down. I guess of all my times going to D.C., I've seen mostly everything, but had not been to the Martin Luther King section of memorials. Wow, that was impressive. I mean, I kept taking pictures of the darn statue because... He doesn't have a bad side. So photogenic. Then we saw the Marines planting a flag. I thought that was pretty impressive, especially with the moon in the background. House. Oh, the mall. It looks so beautiful. And look at this, right in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Now I understand why this guy is sitting down. People were in his house until 11 o'clock that night. And <laughs> on the way home, we were all stretched out and tired. Back at the conference on Sunday morning, we saw some clips from Loving, the movie, and we heard from the star via Skype from Nice, France. How cool is that? It was so nice to see the Black Weblog Awards. I had followed that online for so long. One of these days, I'm going to get one of those Weblog Awards. And for the winners that showed up and received their awards, there they are. The weekend was kind of special. It was a daddy-daughter weekend. But for some reason, I had to sleep on the pull-out couch, and I paid for the room. We're going to fix that next time. I've been to three Blogging While Browns, and everyone I have a crush on somebody when I leave. This was my first crush, Diva and Dorks. I was new to blogging, but this was one of the few blogs that I was actually reading. So when I saw her, I was like a groupie. The second year, oh, also on the first year, there was Lamar Tyler. Now, I guess you call it a bromance. I guess you can have a boy crush. But uh, this guy's been very supportive. He does an excellent job. We've correspond regularly. Blackandmarriedwithkids.com is incredible. And in New York City, Harlem, there was Trezani Atkins. Uh, her presentation on what is intellectual property really was, was stellar. I've hired her to help me get through some issues with my book. This year's crush is still a secret, so please don't tell her. But Lou Braxton, Lucretia, I loved her presentation. I just put the zone defense out on her in the cafeteria. I got a couple minutes with her. In the hotel, I got a couple minutes with her. She's amazing. I've even listened to her podcast since I've come home. What a great time at Blogging While Brown 2016. It makes sense to take selfies of George Washington. I mean, of, of the people that you participate with. When it's time to pack up and go home, you just got to go. Thanks a lot, Blogging While Brown. It was a great experience once again.